Welcome to Kiki Catalyst. This video is an overview on how to enter a prospect into the system. From the dock area, you're going to select New Contact. If your guided workflow is turned off, this small window will appear which will allow you to enter basic contact information such as first name, last name, primary phone number, and primary email address. If you are entering a prospect, you need to make sure to select the correct contact type from the drop-down. Next, you're going to select the customer type for this prospect. Is this individual going to be a personal prospect or a commercial prospect? And lastly, is this individual an active prospect or inactive prospect? Once you are done entering the necessary information, you're going to select Add Contact and the system will take you to the customer overview page where all the sections listed under the contact info tab will populate. This will allow you to enter the information needed for this prospect. After you have completed entering the information within this tab, you will need to save your changes on the top of the page. As you can see, after you save your changes, your prospect is now created. If your guided workflow is turned on, you are still going to select New Contact from the dock area. As we saw a moment ago, you will need to select the contact type, the customer type, the current status, and the location for this prospect, along with the first and last name. At the bottom of the page, you have two options, Next and Finish. If you select Next, the system will automatically take you through the guided workflow. If you select Finish, the system will take you directly to the Prospect Overview page, but you will need to select the sections you wish to edit from the Overview page. Once you're in a guided workflow, the system will take you through individual tabs. Once you're done entering the information in the necessary fields, you will need to select Finish at the bottom of the page to create the prospect and exit out of the workflow.